Hello and welcome to my first look at the Warhammer 40,000 rulebook uh, for the 8th edition. It comes with the Dark Imperium box set, uh, which set you back £95. I think the rulebook separately is about £35. Um, it's 24 degrees, so grab yourself and a cool drink and join me as I take the first look. So here's the rule book. Wasn't sent this for free, bought it. Uh, came in the uh, Dark Imperium set. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just open it. Here we go. Now if you're familiar with the channel, um, you'll know that I am mainly a builder and a collector and I don't really play many games. Um, but it's nice to have a rule book uh, and it's nice to see how this new edition uh, now plays. Just have to move the camera about. So here we go. Got this uh, artwork, sort of a mix of Primaris and uh, Death Guard. You've got the Emperor, if you didn't know who that is. Um, zoom in a little bit. Uh, you've got this lovely artwork depicting, looks like Mortarion on wings, some bloat drones and some Primaris. Um, all, all manner of things happening. Some Thunderhawks there, Warlord Titan of some sort, Black Templars, so on. Talks about the hobby. Collecting the miniatures, doing them painting. I think a couple of these pictures were leaked quite a while ago. Dark Millennium, and it goes on the hierarchy of the Imperium, so on. So there's a lot of fluff, lots of backstory to get into, and it deserves it. I think Warhammer 40,000, the 41st Millennium. Um, has got such a huge, rich backstory um, with a lot of detail. One could argue one of the, the best uh, backstories around. This is this great rift that people are talking about, where whole sort of systems are being cut off. Incredible artwork, mix of old and new. And there is some new artwork too. There we go, that's one of them. A big focus on Primera Space Marines. Astra Militarum. Mechanicus. Cybernetica and Skatari. And the Knights. Imperial Agents. I really do like how they're exploring each of these uh, sort of sub factions. Plenty of lovely pictures of their, their models and custodies. I did wonder if uh, they'd put some uh, custodian guard in here, and they have. And then we've got the forces of chaos. So a big push between Imperium and Chaos. Corn, Zinch, Nurgle, and Slanesh. Speaking of which. Heretic, Heretic Astartes, Thousand Sons, Chaos Unbound, Corn, and then the Xenos threat. So you've got the Eldari, so no longer Eldar. You've got the Craft Worlds. You've got the Drukari. Dark Eldar, uh, the Harlequins, and the Inari. Got Necrons, Orcs, Orc weapons. There's a plane going over. Can't really do much about that. Uh, Tau Empire. Wow, like, like two pages of Tau. Um, Tyranid, High Fleets. Wow, that's a fantastic bit of artwork, that. 
incredible between orcs and tyranids and that is literally just one page well half a page of tyranids um gene stealer cults the alien menace I don't know if this is sign sign of things to come, but it just seems to me that there are, and it's not a complaint, it's uh, an observation, uh, that there's hardly anything to do with Xenos at all. It's mainly Imperium and uh, Primaris this, Primaris that, and uh, a lot of Chaos too, but Xenos not much. So it might be like every other edition where they, they mainly focus on Imperium. Which is fine. It's their biggest seller, but um, I'd like to. I'd like them to explore more into the Xenos armies, and and just create create new ones as well. Four of Cadia. So there are some parts of Cadia on this. Different war zones, different systems. So I like. I do like how it's exploring each system in this new sort of ten minutes to midnight. There is only war. Here we go. So this is playing the game, and you get this on page 170. So you've got 170 pages of pictures, fluff, backstory, you name it. It's all there. Um, lovely, beautiful artwork, too. Uh, and then 170 playing the game. So you've got these different types of playing the game. Uh, you've got open play, uh, narrative play, match play. And that's it. So they're the three types. And I think that's the same as uh, Age of Sigmar. The data sheets, it explains these new data sheets, what the new profiles mean. And then the core rules, which you should saw in my, my little unboxing. Eight pages of core rules um, with, I think, six phases. Yeah, so movement, psychic, shooting, charge, fight, and morale. So morale gets its own phase. And in a way, fight gets its own phase too. Uh, or charge does, sorry. So these are all your examples. Um, I'll be reading all this and I'll be exploring it more in, in my in-depth review. Fighting a battle. Open play, here we go. War without end. Got some different, I say missions. Narrative play. Different power ratings. Crucible of war, so you, again, got different missions. Blitz, sabotage. So this is all narrative play still. Historical battles. So it gives you one historical battle there. And then matched play. They're intentionally balanced against one one another. Uh, so points, there you go. So you've got your points limits up to a thousand, number of detachments, battlefield size, game length. There you go. So this is your your matched play. And it gives you a load of missions and and uh, so on. It's pretty great. Tactical objectives. Fair amount of tactical objectives. Mm, that's good. So a lot of missions to play. And then finally, advanced rules. So battle forged armies, expansions, terrain, planet strike, death from skies, cities of death, multiplayer battles even. Battle forged armies, look, there you go, you've got HQ, fast attack. Look, patrol, battalion, brigade. Wow. Supreme Command Detachment, Super Heavy Detachment. Excellent. Battlefield Terrain. You should load down on all those and how it affects models. Battle Zones. Planet Strike. Planet Fall. Some Cities of Death. Good luck moving your uh, stomp around that city. So an absolute 
immense amount of different missions and different uh, ways to play. You've even got multiplayer battles. And then campaigns, you just got sort of a page, because that's two half pages. You got different warlords. And that's it. I, I mean, I would have liked campaigns to have had a few more pages, maybe. And then a, another piece of artwork. And then an appendix about and then the index and that is it so it, it ends quite abruptly but uh, there you go what I'll be doing is I'll be going away putting this in the cool somewhere to cool it down and uh, I'll be reading it going through it and uh, bring you a review um, as quickly as possible. So stay tuned to the channel and you'll see many more videos like this. Um, they're not going to replace my army update video and things, which is already. So once again, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.